In the aftermath of limited Israeli airstrikes on Iranian targets in the early hours of October 26, which saw fighters launch large numbers of ballistic missiles from outside Iran's airspace, Iranian ground-based air defense systems have alone shouldered the responsibility for intercepting incoming attacks. While Iran fields a number of indigenous and Soviet long-range systems, by far the asset which had gained the most attention has been the Russian S-30 OPMU-2 system a single regiment's worth of which were delivered to the country in 2016. The system provides multi-layered air defense with complementary long, medium and short-ranged missile classes, and was designed with an emphasis on high mobility to maximize survivability. A significant cause of uncertainty surrounding the capabilities of Iran's S-30 OPM U-2 systems remains whether they have been equipped with 48N6DM surface-to-air missiles, which are reported to be compatible with an upgraded variant of the system and also serve as the primary long-range armament of the newer S-400 system. These missiles have particularly advanced anti-missile capabilities due to their more advanced sensors and higher speeds exceeding Mach 14 allowing them to engage targets at very high supersonic speeds including hypersonic speeds exceeding Mach 8. Without the 48N6DM, the standard longest-ranged armament for the S-300PMU-2 is the 48N6E2 which has a 200 km range and cannot reliably intercept missiles flying at over Mach 5. Nevertheless, this is still considered sufficient to intercept Israel's air-to-surface missile attacks, with the fastest such missiles in the Israeli arsenal flying at little over Mach 3, and most being considerably slower. The fact that S-30 OPMU-2 provides multi-layered defense, meaning should they fail to intercept at long range, they can fire again using shorter-ranged missiles from the 9M96 series, further bolsters their anti-missile capabilities. A further notable factor in their favor is their ability to operate as part of a network with other air defense assets, including complementary short and medium-range systems such as Tor M1 systems supplied by Russia, and indigenous combat-proven third of Kordod systems, which are all able to share sensor data and provide complementary layers of fire. The S-30 OOPMU-2 can also network with Iran's Russian-supplied Rezonin's Ne long-range radar system, which is well-optimized to alerting air defenses to the approaches of low-radar cross-section targets such as stealth fighters and cruise missiles over very long distances, allowing S-300s to focus their sensors on directions of the trajectories of the attackers. Iran has refrained from making large-scale acquisitions of Russian air defense systems, and has instead invested in the development of indigenous systems. The most notable among these, the Bavar 373, has entered service from the mid-2010s in increasingly capable variants, and was reported in April to have also achieved a 300 km engagement range through integration of the new Sayed 4B missile. While the Bavar 373's capabilities remain highly uncertain, the system's development is thought to have benefited from both the reverse engineering of S-300 technologies, and from ongoing technology sharing with China and North Korea which have both developed cutting-edge air defense systems rivaling the Russian S-400 in many aspects of their performances. With the S-300 PMU-2's technologies being over two decades old, there is a significant possibility that the Bavar 373 and other much newer Iranian systems today offer more advanced capabilities to those of the Russian-supplied system despite more recent upgrades to the S-300s.